Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Half-Baked Gaming. Here we are today inside of Astroneer. And I think I've grabbed everything besides a little bit of extra copper and chemicals. Curious item, we have some expanded storage on us as you can see. Oh wait, maybe not. Alright, well that's fair. Let's rip one of these guys off here. There we go. As you can see, I got the large storage in underneath all of these to help expand and add on some more. So we can basically take everything with us off to where was it? Novus, I think we wanted to do next. Um, is this right? Why are the plants orbiting Kalidor instead of the sun? Something seems weird here. Is that because of the whole sky thing I have going on right now? <laughs> oh boy, alright, let's see if we can find a nice little landing zone. Well, apparently we've already been here before, and I think I remember something like that too, but... I just didn't quite think about that when we came here, apparently. Well, I feel a little better knowing I have some stuff here. I managed to bring pretty much everything else that I could, so let's see what we can set up to start with. Well, I sure hope we don't have any more problems with this planet or any other planets like we do with Kalidor and stuff disappearing. That's the main reason why I really wanted to leave that planet. I don't, I don't know why stuff was disappearing like that, but I don't like it. Alright, we're gonna get that crafting this... Oh, maybe not. I'm get that crafting some resin so we can start making some table storages. And we also need to start worrying about the chemistry lab and our atmosphere condenser as well. We might as well set up a real base here. That way we can start maybe actually doing some things like unlocking gateways. Oh yeah, yeah, Novus might be our first spot that we actually do stuff on. I think I want to start getting into some power other than that generator. We're not going to just keep relying on the generators this whole time. We have a little bit of extra supplies here with me. There we go. I hate being at the mercy of just the little generator here. Or any generator for that factor. That is in the RTG. I just hate sitting here waiting for them. I need a couple of organic that should help us smooth past this point. Now, where was that other Jasper pond? It's not Jasper flappers. Okay, I had the glass. And I don't know where it has gone to. Oh boy. Well, this isn't it. But until I find it, I guess this will have to do. Right, it's like it's a couple tables so far, a little bit of power going so far, plus smelting. Uh, what are we missing? Oh yeah, our other chemistry lab and atmosphere condenser. Chemistry lab would be nice so I could start making some plastic and junk for a shelter. I don't know if I want to go with the pumpkin shelter or just a normal one yet or not. I still say the pumpkin shelter costs less, like carbon, resin, clay, and only one plastic, whereas the normal shelter is like two plastic and two silicone, so I don't know. I'm just going to stick with the pumpkin shelter, it's, it's, it's the same thing. I mean, the normal shelter provides one unit per second, and I imagine the pumpkin shelter would too. How much lower could it possibly provide? Okay, I made the solar panel, now I have to chunk glass on me. Maybe it will. I am so confused. I swear it wasn't in my backpack the whole time, was it? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I need a smelting furnace and there's one right here. <laughs> okay, well, we have that we can take with us for another place one day, I guess, you know. That's fine. Alright, that might help. Oh yeah, there we go. We got some more power going. Okay, we got two tables printing there. I have enough to print out the research chamber. And then we also want to get into, I guess, the chemistry lab next. It means we'll have to smelt that other quartz, and I should have everything else. I wish I had the ground a bit more level, because it's just going to end up resetting everything as I level everything out from the shelter, but... Ah, well, there's nothing I can do about that. No, it's fine. Now, oh, there's a lot of compound around this area. That's good, though. That is good indeed. Looks like that's... a power pop off over there? I've seen a lithium pop off, I think, over back here. Those are good to have, too. And those things are only worth 1300 bytes, but well, I guess it's still better than nothing at this stage. So, I got the glass, I just need to grab some tungsten now. Alright, well that makes up the chem lab. I guess I need to go get some more dirt, since there's not really much resin around the area, really. Which isn't overall the end of the world. Really? That's fine. Alright, now that should get us enough for another pile of resin for more tables and more storages, of course. 
And I think I'm gonna set up the printer to print these right on the hop as this thing finishes up with its resin. <laughs> Alright, here it goes. This should be the interesting... Oh, I just ran out of power. It's not done yet, stupid. I was gonna say the stack seemed a bit short. It should be done soon. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, nice. Alright, let's let that go back to work. And we can continue focusing on what's next for the atmosphere. Condenser, glass, iron. That we already still have. Plastic was like, what, carbon in compound? Yep, yep, yep. I'm so glad I brought all that stuff with me. It's made all of this a lot easier to deal with. Alright, there'll be plastic. That's our table for the atmospheric condenser. And then we need to start focusing on the shelter. Which was what? One more plastic piece? And then everything else pretty well normal. Okay. And then for the shelter, we're going to need another carbon, resin, and clay. Hmm. For which I have... N for which I have none. So... Hmm, that could take a little bit of work. That's fine. Actually, it's not going to take any work at all. I see clay over here. Yeah, and I just need to grab some organic at the same time and cook that up. <sighs> Easy peasy. And that's I don't know. I grabbed the organic pretty quickly. Just cook the organic. Don't cook the clay. Don't cook the clay. All right, take this stuff out because we need to make the atmosphere condenser. Yes. Awesome. And then it's going to be the shelter next, despite me not having the large print. Oh crap! I'm cracker. There is a deposit of compound just floating in the air there. I'm not sure why or how, but it's there. What do I got? Three? Oh, okay. Hmm. hmm. Apparently I have an extra table. Well, that's fine. I don't mind extra tables. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that at all, right? Okay, and there's our atmospheric condenser. Alright, with that large printer, what do we need? Carbon, resin, clay, plastic. I have... Clay, plastic, resin, a little bit extra organic, and compound, plus carbon, alright. And a little bit extra organic, why not? Let's stick that extra resin on the ship, too. I like just kind of keeping everything together up there, and the extra copper. Wait, the resin was for me. It's compound, that's extra. Stupid. Yay, now we can print the big shelter. Now we can print the big shelter. There it goes. All right. Oh, well, no, that's just the printed version. Anyways, it doesn't bear any existence. We'll pop the shelter just over here or something. That will remove half of our tethers for us. That way. We can move, I don't know, this table over here, I guess, just to help extend the tether network. We can pull up a couple of these or just actually pull up that one because this one's probably going to reach between those two because we're going to drop the shelter right here which should give us enough connection in between everything well now that we got that underway our next course of action is going to be having to get a rover going <laughs> which means the rtg the drill the whole shebang again oh my lord I think we should have more than enough exochips on it, though. Yeah, we got like seven on there. Plus the ability to make more dynamite if we can find more exocrates if we need more. I don't know. See, this is going to be the issue. So I don't have a lot of helium with me, do I? I think we left Aatrox to collect some helium. But that still is going to involve a trip going there. Hmm. Well, what we can do for the rest of this episode is get everything else together besides the RTG and things off there. And then before next week's episodes, I'll get everything together so we can finish up the RTG. And next week we can begin unlocking gateways and other goodies. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot I just connected all the oxygen networks. I'm dying. No. I'm oh, nuts. <laughs> it's so close to the base too. Is this pumpkin shelter done yet? Alright, let's get this set up then. Hmm, I guess I didn't quite think this through. It's a little further apart than what I would have liked, but I guess that's enough for now. Okay, I got a piece of organic, but I really like just like one single piece of resin, if at all possible, but no, I guess not. It's fine. You know what? Maybe I'll put this on to make it another table. Because we can always use more tables, and I want an extension. Alright, well that makes rubber over there, that makes us our table so we can connect it back into the system there. 
Rubber two exo chips will be able to make the rover at least now. All right, let's see, large rover. Yeah, all right. Let's go in there, 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 there. So then we have to start focusing on the little itty bitty stuff that has to go on top of the rover besides the RTG. So it's back into like the soil cancer for plastic and glass. Uh, out of quartz. I'm out of quartz. I'm out of quartz. 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 I mean, I could print some. I suppose, couldn't I? One, but I suppose that's all I need, I guess. That's fine. Alright, we'll print that one, smelt it, that's glass. Then what else we need? Plastic? Mm. Plastic's easy. I mean, you just need compound and current. Well, at least easy in here. Some places don't always have that good access to compound like this one. <laughs> Ooh, research stuff. Yoink. Ah, it's better now everything's all connected. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, we're doing the rover. Uh, I needed the carbon to be cooked, the organic to be cooked, and the quartz to be cooked. Sorry, smelted. Smelted and dealted. I think I'm gonna make a landing pad. It's fairly cheap. It's like 750 research points, and it only takes a couple of ceramic and uh, aluminum. I'm just missing the one piece of ceramic. We'll grab that quickly now. I make a landing pad to actually be able to land on. Those are always nice. Nice little landing zone and flat little landing area. Nothing wrong with those at all. Uh, ah, thank you. Huh, landing pad has only three materials, but it uses the extra large printer. That's very unexpected. Alright, we're gonna move the exo or the large rover over here by our shelter. We have our medium soil canister. Oh, wow, that was quick. Oh, the paver requires silicone too, which is methane. Okay. What is the other ingredient in silicone? It's uh, resin and quartz, so that's not an issue. We can have to wait for methane for that as well too. That's no problem. I have the stuff for another aluminum alloy. Aluminum. And I see copper over there, correct? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Titanium alloy and the diamond. Hmm. I'm gonna need a gas for this too. Okay, we're gonna need helium, nitrogen, and methane. All I have with me is argon, hydrogen, and sulfur. Literally everything else but... Plus maybe a little bit of graphite. I think we have titanium on us. We have some graphite. Oh, we would have enough graphite, yeah. Uh, and hydrogen. Uh, maybe a little bit more ammonium. Okay, okay. So this is gonna have to be a wrap for today's episode, everybody. I'd like to thank you all for sticking around. I hope you have enjoyed. And I will go around and grab all these last little bits of gas that we need. So we can craft up our last few resources, or our last few items, to begin to finish out our rover. I forgot which point I was at here. <laughs> and then once we finish out our rover, we can actually start riding around to the gateway, get that unlocked, get some of these uh, science research spots opened up that require power, get them unlocked, start checking out some of the other ones too that may require lithium. That could be a good thing. Now, I don't know why I grabbed two or three compound when I only need two for the rover seat. Next week, we will get that done and get on to some explorations with power unlockings.